Alright guys, Sterling here with All-Star Comics Cards and Games, uh, unboxing another Force of Will starter deck. This one is the Jet Black Phantom. This was bought by one of our customers named Thomas. He, uh, personally, I play D&D with him every week, so me and him are pretty cool. Well, he's going to be unboxing it for you now, if you don't mind. Hold it over the mat. You may want to tear it open with a knife on the sides. There is some tape. Yep. This is some uh, tough tape. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Pretty much think of the middle as the like hub point. Okay. We have some cards. We have. Yeah, this is one of the play mats that actually tells you what to do. Oh. Yeah, over the uh, teaching video, over the teaching videos, we'll teach you what these are going for. Yeah, these are the rules. Yep. This is the rules. Once again, we'll go over these with you guys once uh, once the videos come out. We'll be doing it once a week. Then we got the reference book. This one I still use. This one just goes over like defense, free combat, all the keywords and stuff that you'll see, like flying for strike, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Sterling's actually going to go over it in a separate video later on. You'll be up. Sure will. Yep. If you will do it in tons. Yeah, there's a little flap on the back that you can just like crack it open. Once again, quality is pretty standard with these guys. I love the Japanese. Right. Okay. So, once again, we are going to mispronounce all of these. Estima, the fallen angel of desolation. At least Sterling would do it better than me. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, you can barely speak English, so. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our J ruler right here. Starts off as Zane the Warrior Condemnation. I think that's a little bit of a typo there. Warrior of the Condemnation. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a little typo there. I think it's missing yep. an O. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Yes. Now, see if you look, it just yeah. has a C in. <laughs> Condemnation. We have a misprint. Con Condemnation. Um. J activation, all that kind of stuff flips over. Um, I actually have played with this deck before. His whole purpose is to get stuff in the graveyard, flip them over, and then like just explode the field. Uh, Anubis, the Guardian of the Throne. I'm pretty sure you guys know who Anubis was. Um, Orpheus, the Nether player. Uh, Deity, that's pretty cool. So he's a Kiro This one, I, I actually like this. I forgot that it came with two. Yeah, this one is like your beater of the deck. He, uh, Nidhogg, the Hell Dragon, got two of those. Got three skeleton soldiers. This one is actually really cool if you're playing Valhalla rules because he has a cool break ability. Outside of Valhalla rules, though, he's pretty useless. Um, but if you break them, he resurrects all skeletons, which isn't... Oh, we had four, not three. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Familiar of Hades. Once again, all these cards are going to have break abilities, which we'll go over. Um, that's only relevant if you're playing in Valhalla. Um, Valhalla rules, which, once again, we'll go over. Uh, Familiar of Hades... Lantern Spirit of the Gravekeeper. Um, this one, I believe, is pretty good. It's a 1 for a 500. The only thing that sucks is if something gets put in your graveyard, this card gets destroyed. Which, if you're building a graveyard deck that kind of puts stuff in the graveyard, he's actually kind of useful because play one, attack with them, and then if you need something in your graveyard, you can easily just throw something in your graveyard, especially if you're playing black. Um, Ghost Swordsman, he just has regen. Got four of them. Bloodthirsty Baron. He's pretty okay. He's 800, and whenever this card attacks, destroy target resonator in your field. So he pops your own person for three. Not all that great considering, but 800's good. Uh, Dullahan the Death Knight. 
Uh, if you know who Dolahan is, I mean, once again, I'm a huge history and lore buff. 600 continuous inner. You choose a uh, target. He then pops it if he gets destroyed. Skeleton Horseman. At the beginning of your turn, put top card uh, up. At end of your turn, put top card uh, into your graveyard. Got two of them. Dragon Zombie. He's a pretty good beater for four. Um, but whenever he battles, it, it gets destroyed at the end of the turn. Power of Hatred adds plus 400 but minus 200 to defense. Binding Chain, uh, target resonator, it gains minus 400, minus 400 until the end of turn. Oh, and it rests. Rests him. That's pretty handy. Soul Symphony, each player destroys target resonator in his or her field. You choose the target first. Get four of those during the end phase. Um, destroy target resonator that attacked this turn. Grasp of life, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Which, if you don't know, you can have uh, the minimum is ten, but you can have up to twenty in your mana deck. Or uh, I'll probably get ridiculed for calling it a mana deck, but uh, the magic stone deck. Uh, anyway, this was the starter deck. Uh, this is the black one. Uh, we'll be going over the other ones every every week or so, just keeping you informed. This is uh, All Star Comics uh, signing off.